Hi, my name is Trip Weston. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis' extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to plague me. What did she mean? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest. Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable. The predator must act quickly, lest she lose the scent of her prey. The shark works the odor trail with a singular focus. Perhaps she's caught scent of Jormungandr, the old encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. What an admirable hustle! The creature has disappeared, probably whisked away by a government boat, lest we capture the beast on video. These beaches were built by the initiates of the Nathalysian Sun Belt, known for their pagan ritual of catching some rays and scoping some bays. It's a shame that human and shark must so often meet to fight enemies. Questers, whatever it is the shark caught scent of, the secret and black ops unit conspicuously called NWO has captured it. What might be their nefarious plans? There you see it. The Ishtar Gate and Processional Way are being constructed to welcome all variety of otherworldly entities to seduce and deceive mankind. The markings on this satellite suggest that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military compound, and perhaps the home base of these NWO troops.
This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out. Beneath his human mask, the insectoid helmsman gazes with dichotic eyes, and with pincers gnashed, proclaims his ship the Ship of Death. Appear the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. The Masonic forces will stop at nothing to maintain power. by human powers, the Illuminati prove a dastardly foe. Clearly, the shark has been implanted with an RFID chip to monitor for everything. is clearly in violation of the Constitution. The big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. This satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communications hub.
Anticipating a reprisal, the Predator flees. <laughs> the NWO is still in hot pursuit. The fish must be cunning, because unlike her pursuers, she doesn't have a 5,000 horsepower engine. This footage could only be captured with the best professional-grade Swedish drone cameras. She successfully evaded the New World shock troops, at least for the time being. NWO threatens to execute Protocol 5. The big fish must be a rabbit, lest she unmask the New World Order's evil agenda. What she's already witnessed, the Predator lashes out against the Illuminous Group's deceitful agenda. While intellectually, I understand that adrenochrome is a byproduct of synthetic epinephrine with no practical applications. Emotionally, I understand that it's siphoned directly from children's pineal glands as the immortality drug of the Luciferian elite. You can tell that this is old World War II technology, due to all the flickering. If there's no such thing as targeted weather warfare, then why am I occasionally inconvenienced by rain, snow, and excessive cold or heat. Government suppressed free energy source, the electric great white.
started this channel six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Monglord69, who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, piece of S-word. Well, it continues in that vein for several paragraphs. Consider that a warning. Every year, we're sprayed with billions of pounds of toxic aerosols. That's why you've got to protect your cellular matrix with Sulfur Shield organic sulfur crystals, only from survival life. Don't be fooled by this elaborate diorama. The real horrors are buried deep underground. I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events. Orca has no loyalty to its country of origin, only a raw, naked power.
Salamander Core get this diabolical metal. drug part. Attempting to foil their diabolical schemes. Many people believe that 300,000 years ago, the insectoids created humans to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. They're clearly more interested in our copper reserves. Thank <laughs> you. 
The shark refuses to subjugate herself to the insectoid's will, and thus is targeted as a threat. NASA's fraudulent Apollo 11 moon landing was necessary. Otherwise, the world would have seen the domes and spires of the insectoid's lunar base, Vraxon. Transformer must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Blue. But how? Its frothing wake churning with the Grand Druid High Priestess Jocelyn Sandini. The insidious forces have grown despondent, perhaps recognizing that they have but a short time left to rule. The explosion has drawn unwanted attention. The patriotic Piscus must be swift to avoid capture. She should hurt. As trespassing on military property could result in a six month prison sentence. seen a fish this wily since Babe Winkleman tried to catch that pike in northwestern Ontario. The Bulls Olfactory Center registers the sweet smell of freedom. Now we see what the NWO's been hiding. Inside sources have ascertained its name, Moloch. This devious aquatic bioweapon is designed to disperse a mist of viral particulate, a potent combination of Ebola, anthrax, and Lassa fever. Within weeks, 
It will spread from Port Clovis to infect the entire world. Then, Big Pharma will reveal that they've developed a vaccine. The price? Every country must submit to the Insectoid Brotherhood. We must stop them before they can implement their demonic program. I'm being spied on by the Pakistani government. Just an update. I performed my own technical surveillance countermeasures and didn't find any bugs, hidden cameras, or GPS trackers. If this show fails to awaken humanity, we're irrevocably lost, and the insectoids will carve us up for dark. to stock up on industrial bleach before it's all confiscated by the big pharma criminal cartels. Let me get this. So it's a bull shark, but it doesn't look like a bull shark. Insectoid shapeshifter, Big Man. Be long before the NWO makes the holding of precious metals illegal. The insectoids are rabid that the shark will soon reveal the truth of their agenda. No. Oh. 
of nano silver toothpaste. I'm f***ing invincible. Project Sunshine side effect, the bone sperm whale. up our country for the final Drag the shark can make a minimum energy investment for a maximum speed return. The shark can benefit by increasing her stroke lift. an ancient discipline and this castle bravo survivor the irradiated bone sperm whale
conventional weapons alone. That's why it makes it the regions. out of fear of exposure. The shark blasts out with an unbelievable start. Exhibits incredible and new fertility. This is actually going quite well. masterfully demonstrates how to splash and dash. These are dark actors playing dark games, and they don't appreciate anyone attempting to foil their diabolical schemes. Mother of harlots and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova.
The bioweapon has reached America's shores, perhaps having already unleashed a rapid viral agent upon the citizen. Now, the NWO will hold the country ransom, offering the vaccine in exchange for problems. These are Chinese-made rigs. If there's any catastrophic methane explosions in the near future, you can't tell me that's merely an accident. This could be the bioweapons doing, sure. But first, perhaps I should consult my friend a world-renowned expert on the subject of ancient giants. <sighs> the bioweapon appears determined to disperse its infectious bodily fluids anywhere and everywhere. Apropos of nothing, I'd just like to say that the Warren Commission was a total farce. What are these? My guess? Powerful influence. Designed to make us hate America and love it. machine is destroyed. Americans, freed from its spell, will forsake their Palak paneer for good old-fashioned cheeseburgers. Judging by the behavior of wildlife in this area, the bioweapon is also spreading estrogen-mimicking endocrine disruptors. displayed to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. a toxin-filled needle that I am prepared to use in case I'm captured for forced labor in the insectoid's copper mine.
justice for her heinous crimes, the shark now the subject of the bounty. Clearly, the NWO sunk this ship for trying to deliver food, water, and medicine to imperiled patriots. control. The big fish really needs to get that tail moving. The big fish masterfully demonstrates how to splash and dash. Set loose a gang of enemy fueled locals with guns. Adrenaline. Impressive. 
But how do you think she'd fare in the 200 meter backstroke? Uranium 235 test subject, the irradiated shadow orca. in the last five years to incompetence, sure. But I think you should open your minds to the idea that these were planned events. Love books, but don't love to read? Autolist.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Joseph Hopeland's Preemptive Strike. Why we must destroy the French Antilles before it's too late. Radioactive food behind Brazil. Project, the irradiated electric great white. in the Great White's limbic system, an insectoid design stimulus. have made clear their intention to overthrow private property. Extrajudicial killings of all owners of homes with a second bathroom are right around the corner. Mark my words.
down this broadcast under Executive Order 10995. Prohibitions are right around the corner, friends. Violators will be imprisoned. Come on now. my viewer count. Listen, you out-of-control techno-fascists. I will not be silenced. And away we go. Shark works her tail like a bird. Huh? The big fish is falling behind. performance since Christina Beggar Zaggy at the 92 Summer Games. That's another clip for this shark's highlight reel. Shark blasts out with an unbelievable start. This predator really needs to push the pace. This is why 
why it's so important when swim training to practice your positioning. That shark just earned her PhD in race science. Wait, uh, hold on, that, that came out wrong. Dead Horse Lake is part of a large open field experiment, a dumping ground for estrogen mimickers to feminize the populace into watching Aubrey Dominique's makeup tutorials rather than Truth Quest. More of these machines dispersing mental poison from hell creating a lumpen mass of propaganda-drugged Americans who'd rather watch Aubrey Dominique take the Coco Bop challenge than read the Constitution. Ah, ah, ah. Take that, Aubrey Dominique. Set your power. sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. Signing the Declaration of Independence was a death war for our courageous founding fathers. So too have I selflessly put myself at tremendous risk with Truth Quest. If only, like the shark, we too rebel. How do we only have 233 viewers? Ugh. I'm gonna send a tersely worded email to YouTube CEO about squelching free speech. Powers that be are frightened of this program. So frightened that they will enact the internet kill switch. Still, we must keep broadcasting as long as we can.
the shark bursts right out of the gate. Looks like she's hit a win. The shark's dorsal helps her keep balance as she moves through the water. Digging, there's little time to make up for air. This is a race against time, and she's already losing. Well, that sated my need for speed. form has really started to deteriorate. The shark is going to need a late surge to come out on top. What a feat of fast. I have it on good authority that Port Clovis Mayor Wade Hibbard is a Rosicrucian Grand Master who regularly communes with a spirit of Saddam Hussein. wheels are incredibly uneconomical. So why are we suddenly seeing them everywhere? Because they are spiritual energy extractors that transform the city into a sun temple for the Illuminati to use in their rebirth rituals. you can start listening to today. Like Martin Shandera's Solar Deception. What's actually going on inside the sun? This is just the beginning. Next comes the countrywide search and seizure of our weapons, gold stores, and freeze-dried beef straw. The world is bracing for hyperinflation. You can't afford to risk your family's financial future on the volatile cowrie shell market. That's why smart investors are betting big on cattle. For over 10,000 years, cattle have been the enduring currency the world relies on. And you can rely on cash cow. Shells will leave you all wet. Invest in cattle and get moving in the right direction.
Hold on. A new inside source is uploading me with information. Oh, it's a photo of two homeless men in an alley in there. Oh, oh, God. never mind. Disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea. The shark hunters are near. Oh my god! has told me to share this revelation with you. Australia does not exist. Like a quote of the day calendar, that was inspiring. And we have started. doesn't appear to be in swimming shape. Notice how she positions her fins at different angles, altering the flow of the water around her. All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events. That is some sailfish level swim. This is not an optimal race. is really important as a vertical stable. <laughs> to quote the title of my favorite early 2000s teen thriller, that turned me into a swoon fan.
Intimidated by the shark's fierce love of country and implacable devotion to the ideals of liberty, the bioweapon flees to open waters. Hmm. It appears that the bioweapon is not only carrying a viral agent, but the HPV vaccine as well. The beast of the bottomless pit. Moloch. is energy, even physical matter. So maybe, if we all focus our minds on the destruction of this unholy weapon, it will happen.
code implanted in the great one's limit system. An insectoid designed stimulus. <laughs> Like heroic Neo, the shark has freed us from the Matrix. Now, we can unplug from the metal coils that once enslaved us, leave our mechanical caves, and greet this new dawn of truth. It's been 90 days since my last Truth Quest broadcast. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where I've been. Well, for the past year or so, I've been partaking daily of ayahuasca. In fact, the very concept of Truth Quest came to me during a powerful, powerful vision. Sir. It was during my last vidcast that I experienced what my wife described as a psychotic break. The next day, she and my son Stephen staged a family intervention. Well, I'm happy to report that since then, I've filed for divorce. Now I have time to dedicate myself to my true home. Questers, we know that reality is just a mirage. Somewhere through the crack between time and space, great cosmic truths remain, still awaiting discovery. These are the obscure and unmarked points along the road of our truth quest. <laughs>